Hello, this is Ryan with TG Trailer Sales. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the on-off buttons and temperature change for the Gevy Arctic 2500 US. This unit is very easy to operate. It has a nice control panel here, and this is a touch-sensitive control panel. You don't actually press and depress buttons, but you lay your finger on it, it senses your finger. As you can see here, this little red light indicates that there is power going to the unit. However, the unit is not powered on yet. All you need to do is hold your finger on that power for about three seconds, and the power comes on. Initially, the fan will turn on, start to circulate a little bit of air in that cold box, but it's not actually cooling just yet. Now, see that little light bulb right there? If we want to turn on or off the light inside of the cold box, all we do is touch that one time, and you're going to see that auxiliary light comes on. That means that your light bulb inside of the cold box is on. If you want to turn off the light, you simply one touch, and the auxiliary turns off. Simply, if we want to change the temperature, all we need to do is touch the set button. Just touch it once, shows you the current set temperature, and you can change that temperature if you want your beer at 36 degrees, just move it up to 36, and then to end it, you're gonna hit set. That shows you the current temperature now of the cold box. So the cold box is currently sitting at 58 degrees. We've had the doors open and the unit off while we're looking around the trailer here. That's basically it to operate this unit. If you want to power off the unit, you would hold that power button. All right, if you come up on your unit, you touch it, and it says LOC. That simply means it's locked. To unlock it, all you need to do is hold either the up or the down button for about three seconds until you see the UN L unlocked. At that point, you can hit set and change your temperature to whatever you want. Hit set again, and it's ready to go. Currently, the cold box is sitting at 48 degrees, and I had set it to 37. So it's going to run a bit longer and cool it down. It doesn't take long with this unit. Now, the Gubby unit has one more control, and this is kind of an advanced feature. If you're using the system and you do get a freeze up on the other side in the cold box, the heat exchanger over there, if you get ice built up, you will not be able to cool that trailer. So we do have a manual and you see this little guy right here, that's a sign that says we are going to defrost. If you hold that for five seconds, you'll see it went into defrost mode. Now internally, it is going to change the fluids around and heat up the cool the coils. It'll heat up the coils in the cold box and melt all that ice away. There's nothing more to do after this point. It's going to go through its cycle and it'll be done.